So welcome back everyone. This is Anirul and today we'll be continuing our chapter Our Changing Earth. This will be part 3 and this will be the last part of this chapter. In the previous videos we discussed about the lithospheric plates, endogenic and exogenic forces, earthquakes, volcano, earthquake preparedness, what is weathering, what is erosion, work done by rivers and waterfall. In this video, we will discuss about the work done by sea waves and the work done by wind and the work done by ice. So let us start. Work done by sea waves. When sea waves continuously strike at the rocks, cracks develop. They form hollow like caves called sea caves. You can see the picture of a sea cave in here. As they become bigger and bigger, only the roof remains, which forms sea arches. So here you can see the picture of sea arches. As erosion continues, only the walls are left. These wall-like structures are called as stacks. This is a stack. The steep rocky coast rising vertically above sea water is called sea cliff. This is a sea cliff. As sea waves deposit sediments along the shores, they form sea beaches. You will be put, uh, aware of sea beaches of course. So this is a sea beach. This was the work done by sea waves. Now we'll discuss about the work done by wind. In deserts, we can find rocks in the shape of mushroom called mushroom rocks. When the wind blows, it erodes the lower section of the rock, making the base narrower and upper section of the rock wider, forming a mushroom rock. This is a mushroom rock. When sand falls and gets deposited on low hill-like structures, then the low hill-like structures are called sand dunes. Here you can see the picture of sand dunes. When grains of sand are light, winds can carry it over long distances when, and when it is deposited, it is called loess. This is the picture of loess. Work done by ice. Glaciers, known as rivers of ice, too, erodes the landscape. They take away soil and stones with them. As the ice melts, the soil and the stones get deposited. These deposits form glacial moraines. This is a glacial moraine. Do you know endo, which means inside, plus genic, which means origin, forms endogenic. Exo, which means outside, plus genic, which is origin, forms exogenic. Earthquakes are measured using a machine called seismograph. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured using a richer scale. The highest waterfall is the Angel Falls of the Venezuela in South America. So, that's it in this chapter. We have successfully completed the chapter. Stay tuned for my next videos based on other chapters. Thank you and bye.